Stop it, Cole. Let me finish what I'm doing and I'll give it back. No, you're hurting her. <laughs> you killed her. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Yes, you did. You're mean, Cole. You better be careful. The Krampus will get you. Come on, Mrs. Cuddles. I'll take you, doctor, to get fixed. The what? The Krampus. Sarah told me all about him. She says that he... What are you two talking about? The Krampus. The Krampus? Who's been telling you about him? You mean the Krampus is real? <laughs> Do you really want to hear the story of the Krampus? Yes! Alright, but I'm warning you. You know, the Krampus doesn't really come around until he is known. Once I tell you the story and he knows you have the knowledge of him, you're fair game. Are you sure you really want to hear the story of the Krampus? Yes! Well, get over here and I'll tell it to you. Come on. Alright. Every year at Christmas time, and after Santa has come, the Krampus comes to town dragging his bag behind him. He meets up with old Chris Kringle, who then gives him a list of all the kids that has been the naughtiest all year long. Those are the kids' houses that the Krampus visits. The Krampus has until midnight to do his collecting. What does he collect? Well, let me finish telling my story and you'll find out. Once upon a time, Christmas night. There is this little boy <laughs> and this little girl who had been naughty all year long. They were the naughtiest in the town that year, picking on all the little kids and back talking their parents and never doing their homework. Well, after Santa had came to town and visited, the kids snuck down the stairs and they were just about to open up their presents. Krampus standing there with his devilish face. He grabbed his bag and he quickly scooped him up to his bag and threw it over his shoulder. And they were never seen again. What happens to all the children? I don't know, baby. But I would say that the children that the Krampus collects is what he eats on all year long. <laughs> <laughs> the Krampus isn't real. If you say so. But you've been warned now. You better get your pajamas on. Go brush your teeth. Here, Ava, I put your toothpaste on your toothbrush for you. Thank you. And we need to talk. I don't know why you've been acting the way you've been acting lately, but can you try to be a little nicer to your sister? Okay, I'll try. Good night, Cole. <laughs>